Make sure you stay tuned in, we'll talk about two common mistakes people make that can cost you thousands of dollars. Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a dot charger. If you're trying to find the fuse for the auxiliary port or the USB media hub, stay with us, we'll explain where that fuse is located. We will talk why it's super important to test fuses, uh, common mistakes people make when actually replacing fuses and relays that can cost you thousands of dollars and where you can buy a cheap fuse from. All that will be covered in this video today. Before we start, let me just tell you a little bit about us guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you guys want to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge or any vehicle, you want to get them at a good price, quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's continue now. So. V6, V8, it should work on both. Specifically, we have a 2018 year model. Most people will think it's in that fuse box right here, right? But no, you're wrong, guys. Could be a different place. Many of you requested, guys, in the comment section below to share information about good scanners, good diagnostic tool, because nowadays the market is flooded with diagnostic tools. And this is our favorite one, purchased with our own money. It's amazing tool, guys. Uh, works on almost any car you can think of, you can see. It's a tool that can pay itself off in one time use, we'll definitely recommend it uh, and it can access every computer system, modules, read codes, delete codes and see live data from each one of those. For instance that BMW here itself, it has close to 60 computers in it so it's a must for newer vehicles. Check it out, link will be below if you want to check the current price and features. Let's show you where the auxiliary port and the media hub fuse is now. So you will need to open the trunk on your dot charger. Once you open it, you're going to flip that cover. That's a cargo liner cover on the trunk. When you lift it up, you will see your spare tire. Here, guys, you'll see your car battery. It is quite often recommended when you replace fuses and relays to disconnect the car battery so you don't cause damage to the electrical system, modules, and computers. Another thing, on these new cars, it's very important which battery terminal you disconnect and reconnect first. If you do it the wrong way, you can guys still burn modules, computers, electronics. How we know that? We actually burned the airbag module on a Mercedes. That was a $2,000 repair. You have the fuse box right here. You're going to press like that here, pull it straight up, lift it out. What we have here guys, those are the fuses. You can see like that fuses relays different kinds and another common mistakes mistake people make they do not test fuses they try to assume look at the fuse and find out if it's good or bad but often guys you will not be able to clearly see it may look like a good fuse but it's actually bad and if that's the case you put it back in let's say and you replace the auxiliary port media hub port you keep wasting time and money just not worth it always test them we will put a link in the description of the video below how to test fuses, relays and uh, also where to buy cheap fuses and relays from. The fuse that we need now guys, if you come in that fuse box section, I'm talking about right here, that fuse box section, the very last one on the right side or the first from right to left, that 20 m fuse is known as fuse number F38. F38 that's the fuse that we need so we go ahead grab it and pull it out you can see it's just like that and the fuse will come out now uh, this is the fuse guys when you're ready to replace it you grab the new one and we are going to push it back in okay pretty simple just like that you can see uh, the numbers it doesn't matter which way you face them they can be that way or the other way either way it's still good so hopefully guys the video will be helpful to any of you needing help with that thank you for watching see you next time